Good morning and welcome to morning prayer from the Kidderminster Izmir team on this 1st of March on St David's Day. They will remember the patron saints of Wales who died on this day round about the year 601. David known for being a monk and a bishop in the 6th century, uh, known for his austere ascetic spiritual rule of life, um, founding up to a dozen uh, monasteries, um, but also known for his compassion, particularly to those in poverty and those who are ill. And so we remember him today, the founder of the monastery at Menevia, now St. David's, and we hold him and all those who celebrate this day in our best wishes and in our hearts. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. <clears throat> As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. So Psalm 32. I'll read the odd verses. And see if she's okay with that will lead us through the even ones. Happy the one whose transgression is forgiven and whose sin is covered. Happy the one to whom the Lord imputes no guilt and in whose spirit there is no guile. For I held my tongue, my bones wasted away through my groaning all the day long. Your hand was heavy upon me day and night. My moisture was dried up like the drought in summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and my iniquity I did not hide. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore let all the faithful make their prayers to you in time of trouble. In the great water flood it shall not reach them. You are a place for me to hide in. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Be not like horse and mule, which have no understanding. Whose mouths must be held with bit and bridle, or else they will not stay near you. Great tribulations remain for the wicked. But mercy embraces those who trust in the Lord. Be glad, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Shout for joy, all who are true of heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the, and to the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was, as it was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, now and now shall be forever. forever. Amen. Reading from Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, add your burnt offerings to your sacrifices and eat the flesh. For on the day that I brought your ancestors out of the land of Egypt, I did not speak to them or command them concerning burnt offerings and sacrifices, but this command I gave them. 
obey my voice and I will be your God and you shall be my people and walk only in the way that I command you so that it might, may be well with you. Yet they did not obey or incline their ear, but in the stubbornness of their evil will, they walked in their own counsels and looked backwards rather than forwards. On the day that your ancestors came out of the land of Egypt until this day, I have persistently sent all my servants, the prophets, to them day after day, yet they did not listen to me or pay attention, but they stiffened their necks. They did worse than their ancestors did. So you shall speak all these words to them, but they will not listen to you. You shall call to them, but they will not answer you. You shall say to them, this is the nation that did not obey the voice of the Lord their God and did not accept discipline. Truth has perished. It is cut off from their lips. Cut off your hair and throw it away. Raise a lamentation on the bare heights. For the Lord has rejected and forsaken the generation that provoked his wrath. For the people of Judah have done evil in my sight, says the Lord. They have set their abominations in the house that is called by my name, defiling it. And they go on building the high place of Topheth, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom. Burn their sons and daughters in the fire, which I did not command, nor did it come to my mind. Therefore, the days are surely coming, says the Lord, and it will no more be called Topheth or the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter. For they will bury in Topheth until there is no more room. The corpses of this people will be food for the birds of the air and for the animals of the earth. and No one will frighten them away. And I'll bring to an end the sound of mirth and gladness. The voice of the bride and bridegroom in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. For the land shall become a waste. Song of Manasseh. All of compassion and mercy yes. and, love and love is God, God the most the high. high. The Almighty. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God most high. You are full of compassion, long suffering, and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I'm not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O oh God, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. And worthy as I am, you will save me, according to your great mercy. All the host of heaven sings your praise, and your glory is forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was, it was in the in beginning, the beginning is, is now and shall be forever amen full of compassion and mercy and love is god the most high the almighty and reading from john then the jews began to complain about him because he said i am the bread that came down from heaven they were saying, is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered them, do not complain among yourselves. No one can come to me unless drawn by the father who sent me. And I will raise that person up on the last day. It is written in the prophets. 
and they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Bread of heaven. How appropriate is that for a reading to have on St. David's Day? And that chorus is probably still echoing around now from following the result on Saturday, but we won't talk about that. But Jesus, the bread who comes down from heaven, the living bread, the one on whom we can feed always, who nourishes us, who gives us strength, who offers us that eternal life. So if we come hungering to him today, we can let Jesus feed us and give us that nourishment that we need for the hours of this day, the times that we face, and for eternity. So we give thanks for his giving of his life for us. morning hymn of praise the benedictus i will give you shepherds, give you shepherds after my, after own, my heart, own heart who will feed, who will feed you, you with knowledge, with knowledge and, understanding. and understanding blessed be the lord the god of israel who has come to his people and set them free he has raised up for us a mighty savior born of the house of his servant david through his holy prophets, God promised of all to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. So let us pray. Loving God, thank you for your gift of this new day, for the life that we have, the breath that is within us, the time we may spend with you this day. Help us to be alert and attentive to notice you in the events of today. We give you thanks for the bread from heaven. For Christ who nourishes us, who strengthens us, who enables us to keep walking even when the terrain feels difficult. 
just as God fed his people in the wilderness. So Jesus comes to us to feed and strengthen us. So we give thanks for the life of Saint David. We give you thanks for his witness to the Christian life. All that devotion, that single-minded pursuit of Christ, laying aside the luxuries of life to continue in the life of prayer and worship. We give you thanks for those monastic communities around us, across our country, across this nation and the world for their dedicated life of prayer. The voice of prayer is never silent. Give you thanks especially for the communities at Mucknell Abbey and at Glasshampton in our own diocese here. Give you thanks for their welcome and for their life of devotion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as David was known for his compassion, particularly to those in poverty and in sickness, I pray for those who struggle against poverty today. Those who struggle to put food on the table, those who are fearful for their livelihoods in the current situation. For those who will need to use food banks, we give thanks for the work of food banks those who donate to them and support them financially in their ministry. We pray for those who are ill, whether from COVID, from its after effects, for those who struggle with their mental health and anxiety, those who are isolated. We give thanks for those who care for those in need, those in our hospitals, our care homes and hospices, our doctor's surgeries, our emergency services those putting themselves at risk for the good of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our yeah. prayer. So Lord, we offer to you the life of this day, the hours that lie ahead of us. May they be times of knowing your blessing, knowing your presence, knowing your love. Those who go out to work today, pray you will keep them safe. Those who may not see somebody else today, may they know your love, may they have contact with someone by phone or email, they would know they are not alone and know that they are never alone, but you are with them always. Bless us and hold us in your love, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. 
Almighty God, who called your servant David to be a faithful and wise steward of your mysteries, all the people of Wales, in your mercy grant that, following his purity of life and zeal for the gospel of Christ, we may with him receive the crown of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.